this is the crested chain stitch. It forms a decorative line of little chain stitches, or big, with uh, knots on the top. So we're going to begin just like we would a regular chain stitch. In fact, we're going to begin with a regular chain stitch, stitching from right to left. Go down in the same hole you came out of, pick up a bit of fabric, take your working thread behind your needle, and pull through. And you can see that that's just your typical chain stitch. Now we're going to move up above that stitch and pick up a tiny bit of fabric. Take the thread up over the needle and underneath it, just like this. Then you're going to pull your needle through. And if you pull upward on your thread, that will help situate your knot. So we have a chain stitch, a knot, and between the two we have this little bridge. We're going to pass the needle underneath the bridge and pull through. Now we're ready to start our next chain stitch. So go down inside your last chain stitch, pick up a stitch length of fabric, and if you come up inside the loop of your working thread on your fabric like this, you can just pull your needle through. So there's the second chain stitch. Now we're going to move up to the knot, pick up a tiny bit of fabric, take your working thread over and under the needle, and pull through. You can use your needle to help situate the knot. But remember, if you pull upwards on your stitch there, that helps. Okay, so there's your, your knot, and there's the bridge. So we're going to pass underneath the bridge, pull your thread through, go down inside your last chain stitch, and then move forward with the next chain stitch, pull through. Then go up, pick up a tiny bit of fabric, pass the thread over your needle and under it, pull through, and pull upwards on your thread. The crested chain stitch looks really nice as a decorative edging. It also takes curves and um, circles well, wavy lines and so forth. And you can change the look of it by exaggerating the distance between the chain stitch and the knots. And that sort of stretches the stitch out a bit. So here we are picking up a tiny bit of fabric again. And making the knot and pulling upward on the thread to situate that knot. And then passing the needle underneath the bridge pulling through, going back down inside the last chain stitch, and then pulling through to make the next chain. Again, up above the chain, pick up a tiny bit of fabric, take your working thread over and under the needle, whoops. Pull through, pull upwards, and then head underneath the bridge, and then back down into the last chain stitch to take your next chain stitch. When you come to the end of your line, you're going to end it just as you would a regular chain stitch and anchor it on the outside of the loop. And that is the crested chain. For more tips and techniques on hand embroidery, stop by and visit me at Needle and Thread.